بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹاپک از سائڈ افیکٹ ایسوسیٹڈ ود کیمو تھراپیوٹک ایجنٹس ان دس لائٹ سائڈ افیکٹس آن دا بیسز آف کلاسیفیکیشن وین آن سیڈ آف ڈرگ ایکشن از امیڈیٹ اینڈ دا ٹائم پیریڈ ود ان تھرٹی منٹس آفٹر ایڈمنسٹریشن دا ایکسپیکٹنگ سائڈ افیکٹس آر وین اس پین اب نارمل ٹیسٹ اینڈ اسمیلس فیشیل اور باڈی فلشنگ ہیمرجک سسٹائٹس کارڈک ریدمیاز اینڈ ہائپر ٹینشن اینڈ ہائپر سینسٹیوٹی ان کیس آف شارٹ ٹو میڈیم ٹرم اینڈ دا ٹائم پیریڈ ود ان آرس اینڈ اپ ٹو سیون ڈیز ایکسپیکٹنگ سائڈ افیکٹس آر ڈسکلریشن آف یورین ٹیومر لائسس سنڈروم ڈائریا نوزیا اینڈ وامٹنگ کانسٹیپیشن میوکوسائٹس فٹیگ اینوریکزیا اینڈ سی این ایس ٹاکسیسٹیز ان کیس آف میڈیم ٹو لانگ ٹرم اینڈ دا ٹائم پیریڈ لیٹر دین سیون ڈیز اینڈ مے بی کیومولیٹو ان نیچر ایکسپیکٹنگ سائڈ افیکٹس بون میرو ڈپریشن چینجز ان فرٹیلیٹی الوپیشیا پلمونری فیبروسس رینل ٹاکسیسٹی رینل لیور ڈس فنکشن اینڈ پیریفرل نیوروپیتھی ناؤ دی کیمو تھراپی انڈیوز نوزیا اینڈ وامٹنگ وین کیمو تھراپی اینٹرز دی باڈی سینسرز ان دی ڈائجسٹو سسٹم اینڈ برین ڈیٹیکس اٹس پریزنس ایز اے فورن سبسٹینس ان اے کمپلیکس سیریز آف سگنلز امنگ دا برین اینڈ دی ماؤتھ اسٹمک اسمال انٹیسٹائن اینڈ بلڈ اسٹریم The medication stimulates the vomiting center in the brain. Several chemicals including ones called serotonin and substance P are released, triggering the nausea and vomiting reflex. This is the body's effort to get rid of the foreign substance. Some people experience nausea and vomiting immediately, acute nausea and vomiting. Other patient develops its, uh, its during the Uh, next few days this is called the delayed nausea and uh, nausea and vomiting now the treatment associated with nausea and vomiting uh, some are uh, corticosteroid serotonin dopamine antagonist nk1 inhibitors anti anxiety drugs in case of corticosteroids related to the natural hormone cortisol they are widely used to help prevent uh, chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting example is prednisolone serotonin antagonist this type of medications blocks natural substances from sending a signal to the brain that causes vomiting um, the examples of uh, this type of drug or dansendron and granisetron dopamine antagonist such as metoclopramide are often prescribed for breakthrough nausea and vomiting now the nk1 inhibitors are the newest class of medicines to prevent cinv uh, nk1 inhibitor work by blocking the binding of uh, substance p and prevents the amitic signal from the being transmitted it is available as a capsule called apripitant which is taken before a chemotherapy session and for two days afterward for the apripitant is the iv version and is converted to apripitant in the body now the anti anxiety drugs medications such as lorazepam Uh, are used to help block nausea and vomiting these medications are called h2 receptor antagonist and block the formation of stomach acid this reduces indigestion and heartburn which can sometimes lead to nausea and vomiting fatigue what is fatigue fatigue is not like normal tiredness the tiredness you feel after you have been busy working hard or exercising it is extreme tiredness uh, that doesn't go away when you rest or after a sleep fatigue can be described as a paralyzing feeling or uh, as being drained of energy 
a combination of the chemotherapy itself stress low hemoglobin levels lack of sleep and the malignant malignancy can cause fatigue it can be a problem that seriously affects patients physical and mental well being now the treatment encourage patient to be honest when they are tired and get a good amount of rest encourage them to keep active but don't do too much tumor lysis syndrome tumor lysis syndrome or tls is an oncology emergency it is a serious and potentially life threatening complication of cancer the- chemotherapy it occurs when cancer treatment causes the destruction or lysis of a large number of rapidly dividing cancer cells the body's ability to excrete the end products of the dead cells Uh, as cells die they release potassium phosphorus and nucleic acids into the systemic circulation if the volume rele- released exceeds the body's ability to metabolize and excrete them it can cause electrolyte imbalances these place the patient at risk of renal failure and cardiac abnormalities including ventricular tachycardia and cardiac arrest signs and symptoms of the tumor lysis syndrome including high potassium high phosphorus high urea decreased urine output flank pain hypertension tachycardia ecg changes cardiac arrhythmia nausea and vomiting diarrhea abnormal colic muscle weakness muscle cramps twitching confusion and delirium now the treatment of tumor lysis syndrome or tls patient at high risk of developing tls uh, are often prescribed allopurinol as prophylaxis before commencing their chemotherapy intravenous fluids are also often given to optimize urinary output before during and after chemotherapy administration the patient's urine output and fluid balance must be monitored carefully to ensure a good diagnosis has been achieved raspberry case is the main treatment and what is the raspberry case used for this is the injection is used to treat high levels of uric acid which is a natural substance that builds up in the blood as tumors break down in people with certain types of cancer who are being treated with chemotherapy medication raspberry case injection is in a class of medications called enzymes Another side effect associated with the chemotherapeutic agent is the bone marrow depression. It is a temporary cessation of the bone marrow's ability to produce blood cells. Neutropenia play a vital role in the body's defense mechanism against infection. They recognize, attack and kill bacteria by engulfing them through the process of phagocytosis. Patient who have low levels of neutrophils have an increased susceptibility to infections. This can lead to neutropenic sepsis. And what is the neutropenic sepsis? It is a potentially life-threatening emergency. Patients with a reduced neutrophil count are at high risk for uh, high risk of developing sepsis and fast if this is not treated immediately it can become fatal in a matter of hours the usual signs of infection may be absent in neutropenic sepsis as the immune response is inhibited in some cases the first and only sign of infection may be a raised temperature other patient may present with non specific symptoms such as feeling generally unwell Any sign of infection in a neutropenic patient requires immediate assessment by experienced hematology staff. How do we treat neutropenic sepsis? Patient will be treated with urgent antibiotics and blood cultures. Where appropriate, 
दे मे बी गिवन आई वी फ्लोइज एंड ऑक्सीजन रूटीन ब्लड एंड ब्लैक्टेड सैंपल्स विल बी ऑप्टेन्ड now the thrombocytopenia reduction in platelet count leading to increased risk of bleeding the drop in uh, platelet count may occur 7 to 10 days after treatment depending on drug dose the count at which it is considered acceptable to give treatment may vary across specialties and the cancer network patient education is essential so the patient is aware of the need to report early any signs of a reduced platelet count these signs including blood in his stool bleeding gums prolonged bleeding after trauma hematuria pain in joints rash which is a bleeding under the skin unexplained bruising a patient must urgently report any of the uh, of the sign in case of anemia which is a reduction in the red blood cell count if the anemia is uh, uh, problematic the patient may require a blood trans- transfusion sign of and symptom of anemia including fatigue weakness palpitations uh, tinnitus headache cognitive impairment and dizziness mucositis oral mucositis is a common complication of cancer chemotherapy it begins 5 to 10 days after the initiation of chemotherapy and lasts 7 to 14 days chemotherapy induced oral mucositis causes the mucosal lining of the mouth to atrophy and breakdown forming ulcers and sores signs and symptoms including patient typically experience the oral pain and burning ulcerations difficulty eating drinking and speaking difficulty with mouth care regimens treatment including uh, good and regular oral hygiene regular mouth washes uh, including lidocaine cocaine and deflam normal saline and protect lips with moisturizer avoiding acid uh, acidic foods alcohol and spicy foods analgesia including transdermal patches if you like our channel please subscribe thank you for watching this video